Hi, this is Malar from Hearts and Minds Development Center. So, how are you? As you reflect upon your answers, I want you to take just some time quietly and ask yourself how you really have been feeling. I've been having generally good days, I must say, working from home doing these videos. But it has also been overwhelming and there are days I've woken up feeling truly helpless helpless about some things that I want to take control of and these are the times that you know my old voices come through to tell me how I'm not good enough how do I bounce back I'm reminded of the story of the elephant now if you go to the zoo and I hope you've been to the zoo you look at these elephants and they are really big and beautiful mammals and around them there's often a chain right what I found out in the training of elephants is that they are brought into the zoo when they're really little and these chains are wrapped around their legs and of course like all little babies do they eat sleep play get bored try to run look at the chain and realize they cannot run and then what do they do they eat sleep play get bored try to run look at the chains and realize they cannot run now after a while they stop trying because the chain continues to be there as a reminder of what they cannot do or cannot be free what the elephants don't realize is that they grow up they grow big they are stronger than the chain that is binding them well they don't realize which is why we still get to see animals in the zoo but this is not about the ele uh, elephants or the zoo right but it's about you and me this is a point of time whenever we are feeling helpless you need to ask yourself what are the beliefs? What are the stories? What are the thoughts, which are the chains, that you have believed all along without questioning because it worked in the past? And because it worked in the past, you continue to let it rule in your life. And now, as you think about it, I want you to ask yourself, are these chains still real today because if it is not real we have two choices hold on to it because then it gives us permission to be victim i'm not good enough i can't learn new things i can't change it is a bit too late i'm too old and one of the things i've been telling myself is i'm not tech savvy All right. now as you think about it hold on to it or learn how to let go let go of this chain because they were never real in the first place anyway, isn't it? Now to learn how to let go, we need to build our strength and say, I may not be tech savvy, but I can learn, right? And we all can learn, which is why I'm going to remind you to focus on your human strength. Think about all the skills that you've learned in the past when you didn't know it. And if you had done it in the past, you can do it now. Wishing you great days ahead, great week ahead. Unbinding yourself from this disempowering belief of helplessness. Take care. Have a great day. Ciao.